Next up, we got DeAndre Swift moving over to the Bears. Okay. Three three years, 24 and a half mil, 15 and change guaranteed. Um, interesting that he got a decent bag. Um, I think he had a good year in Philly, but the thing I noticed in, in Philly was he kind of slowed down after that initial burst, right? Over those first like four to six weeks, he was really good. A lot of people were buying in onto the DeAndre Swift um, train. So I'm not as high on DeAndre Swift. I've never been as high on DeAndre Swift as a lot of people have. Um, but I think it's a decent signing. I think he has an opportunity to be valuable. But like you said, another kind of RB2-ish situation. Um, you know, Three guys now. But yeah, I don't really have a ton on DeAndre Swift. I don't think his stock really moves either way. He's going to a worse offense in Chicago. They're most likely going to have a rookie quarterback. That Bears offensive line is not nearly as good as Philadelphia's. That offense isn't nearly as dynamic. Um, but I think Swift will be okay. You know, I think he'll still be viable as a fantasy asset, but just, you know, kind of middle of the road, RB two ish kind of guy. I don't I don't really think his value changes at all. I think it's pretty much just still the same, but he's mm -hmm. on like a worse offense. Like, I mean he if you look at like the Eagles, like who was Boston Scott and Kenneth Gainwell, like Roshan and Herbert are better than those guys. And he was getting spelled for, for those guys. Now could have that just been a Philly thing. And like, that's just how they were, you know, how they were divvying it up. I don't know, but Herbert hasn't been able to stay healthy. I think they kind of realize that. I think he's got one more year left on the contract. And then you got Roshan. I mean, it hurts Roshan a little bit, but maybe they maybe Swift and Roshan some kind of, you know, some kind of two RB team. Maybe, maybe that yeah. kind of maybe he carves out a role there as well. So I think Swift is still is he the same? Like, is it still a back end second? Is it mid second maybe for for Swift? Because he's a little younger. He got the contract. I mean, do you feel a little bit safer? So that pushes him up. Not really, to be honest with you, because that offense, I don't know what that offense is going to be. Obviously, most likely they're going to have Caleb Williams at, as their quarterback. Um, mm -hmm. And not saying Caleb isn't any good, but that bears, it's just a lot of uncertainty on what that looks like. And like I said, he'll still be okay. So I'm kind of in the same as Tony Pollard, like back end second, you know, emergency, emergency type situation. You know, if I had like, if I had a Nick Chubb on my team last year and that was the situation and I had to give up a mid second for a swift to kind of steady the ship, I'd be mm -hmm. comfortable with that. But in a normal, you know, all things being equal, I'm looking at mid to back end second. I don't love spending on the RBs, but you know, there will be a time where, you know, guys will be available. You'll be able to buy them in season guys getting hurt all the time. Mm -hmm. Right. This is why we stash a lot of, a lot of players.